People are scrambling with the MyForex fund shutdown. People are sending me questions about whether or not to trade funded accounts or to stick to personal accounts exclusively. I've seen comments all throughout the internet. In this video, I want to give you the perspective of a veteran trader so that you can map out a longer term plan for yourself. When I say funded, I'm talking about simulated funding. Check the new language on the prop firm sites. A veteran trader said to me a few days ago, Abdullah, you have the potential to make 100 million in the next 12 years from trading. He didn't tell me how to do it. So I knocked on the doors of famous traders and I found them at red lights and I asked them, I'm just joking. It dawned on me that looking at personal and funded accounts from the short term desire to make fast money blinds you from the big picture and building a sustainable and lasting business as a trader. Most discussions about personal and funded accounts are short sighted. I normally only talk about milestones that I've already achieved, like getting funded and getting consistent payouts. But but for this topic, I asked, how would Abdullah go about making 100 million in the next 12 years to me this will make answering the question about personal and funded accounts crystal clear it starts by understanding the concept of leverage the goal of 100 million is our desired output what do we have to do and what can we leverage to get the desired outcome let me break down the concept of leverage with a non-business analogy first the average man cannot lift the car on his own but if he has a long enough lever he can lift the car with his normal strength in business to be successful we must try to find things that we can leverage to give us an advantage there's a formula input times leverage equals output let's talk about leverage and trade Trading. Say we have two traders with the same exact monthly returns. This is input. One has 10,000 and the other has 100K in capital. The one with 100K will produce the higher profits, higher amount of output because he has more capital. Capital here is the leverage. On the other hand, the trader who has less capital, but let's say a team of 10 traders all producing the same amount of returns could produce greater output than the trader with more capital so if we look at our goal from this perspective our input will be trade execution a certain amount of return percentage per month and the leverage in the formula would be capital so to get to 100 million in earnings in a year we would need the right input percentage and returns and the right leverage capital so it would be easy if we all had 200 million dollars sitting around and we could achieve five percent per month we'd make 100 million easily so two things here your capital and your trading ability are the ceilings for your earnings a drop in any one of them can significantly change your output so for a small time trader a funded account is better than a personal account in the short term because it offers him more leverage I can spend 1500 on a 300k account and make 15k just five percent it will be a lot harder for me to flip 1500 to 15k that will be a 1000 percent return funded accounts are a great opportunity for consistently profitable traders to grow their money so question for you are simulated funding accounts secure enough for you to build the base of your trading business the answer is no you cannot build your kingdom your trading business your capital on top of contracts that can be withdrawn due to your style no longer fitting their desired profile right but you can use them to inject capital into your base so the question is not about personal versus simulated funding accounts a fund that you run and you own is superior to the simulated funding accounts it's more sustainable it's more scalable and over the long run you can make more money but the simulated funding account can be used to inject cash into your fund now back to the hundred million dollar example how do we get there in 12 years if we started with a hundred thousand and had monthly returns of five percent day trading hypothetically we could get there in 12 years not including taxes and withdrawals. And this is without injecting more capital into the fund after the initial start. Now, you may not have 100K now, but this is where simulated funding accounts come into play. The skills you build to pass the challenges and get payouts will set you on the path of the CPT, the consistently profitable trader. Only the top 2% of people get payouts and significant payouts. And the people that get significant payouts are most likely in the 0.5%. So you can make 100K by maxing out with 1 million in funding and just making 10%. I'm just showing you how if you had more leverage or more capital 
and simulated funding accounts, you would need a large return in order to make 100K. Now, I suggest you to go to a compounder and play with the numbers. Think about your longer term goal and how you can inject money into your fund in order to reach it. The personal fund grants you independence, greater scalability, and protection if you join exchanges that provide regulations that will protect your transactions from being manipulated. Now, I know some of you right now, you think of yourself as small. You may be trading on the toilet. You may trade while you're driving. You may not have an established trading desk yet. You may just have a little baby account, a little baby trading fund. But the ProfitX community and those who subscribe to this channel, I know that you're aspiring to be a professional trader. So don't think of your little baby account as a small account. Think about it as the foundation of your kingdom, your trading business, your sustainable trading business. And think about the skill, proving consistency and injecting capital into that personal fund, into that kingdom, your empire. You may say, but all I want to do is quit my job. I don't want to trade such large capital. Think about this. If you quit your job and your only income is from simulated funded accounts, you are at huge risk. I have signed contracts with all of the major props and the way that the contracts are written, they can simply discontinue their relationship with you if they choose to. And since this model is a new model they can get hit with some regulations that drastically disrupt the way they choose to do business with you so the true question is not personal versus simulated funding the question is how will you inject cash into the fund that you own will it be personal funding from a job a business or another paid skill will it be from simulated funding from tft ftmo true forex funds or the like will it be private investment if you have a proven track record you can work out a split with some investors or will you go work for a traditional prop firm for a split even if your goal isn't so big ultimately you need control over your fund or else you are at the mercy of someone else laying you off please like and subscribe comment below what your longer term profit goals are for your firm if you want to see a video on regulated brokers versus unregulated brokers watch this video